It's Countryside Mechanic here. So today I'm going to show you how to wire a starter solenoid on your tractor. Super simple, easy thing to do. So, first up, you want to locate um, these two studs up here. They're the bigger ones. Okay. One of them goes to the starter. One of them goes to the um, battery. So if we go to the parts section of my workshop over here, I got to start a solenoid right up here because I recently just took one off the tractor. But basically, you got this terminal right here which goes to the starter, this one that goes to the battery. I can tell now, these two at the bottom here are universal. One of them for ground and one of them for going to the key switch. Doesn't matter which one, just one of them does it. Um, now, Usually these are grounded um, already by the backing plate right here, and that's why some of them are only three post. This one also grounds from the backing plate here also, but you can also, if you, if you don't want to have it mounted up on anything, you could just wire a, um, a ground straight to one of these posts down here. Now, if you're looking at a starter solenoid, you're going to look at it like this. The left side is the starter, okay? So if it looks like this, left side, starter, right side, battery. Um, also, you can tell, I think, where the sticker is. That's where the starter is. Just know that it's left side, starter, right side, battery. That's how I know how to wire these in. Um, but basically, for the one I have here on my tractor, um, I wired this one wire to the stud on the starter and then secured it with a nut and then there's one there's this one post right here which I wired a wire which is right here which goes to the battery and then we got these two up here and this white one is my ground what I did was See if I can get a good angle here. There's bolts for the starter. Let me get my light. Let's see. Yeah, you see that bolt right there with the star pattern? Or the star right there? That right there, you can undo that, and then you could throw a ground wire going under that, under the bracket for the starter. That's how I did it, because that's where clean this bottle is. And I just put um, now, I already have this mounted on metal, but just in case it wasn't grounding, I just put another ground on. That's just a just-in-case type of thing. Now, if you have a three-post solenoid, that probably means that you don't need an extra backup. Just make sure you have the bracket grounded to a good ground. So then, what you're going to do is there's one wire right here, and you're going to look at your key switch. Which is right here. I got an example of a key switch in my parts my parts bin here. Right here. So if you look at your key switch, there's gonna be letters all around it. This one works, I just decided to buy a new one for this tractor because you know, why not? It was cheap. Um But yeah, you gotta look at these letters and you gotta see which one um which letters stand for what thing. S stands for solenoid. L stands for lights. Um, now one of these is ground and you can tell because there's going to be metal going into the starter switch. Into the switch. So you can, if you see one with metal going in, that is your ground. Um, and it has a G right next to it with ground. Um, yeah, basically you can look up a, a diagram for these things. Um, really simple, easy thing to do, and you just wire whichever ones, and you're going to need, um, now if you're just making a repair on your tractor, I'm sure you already have, sorry I had to just look for this, but I'm pretty sure you already have one of these, and basically, you just uh, take tons of the wires and you just put them in here. And if you already have one of these and you want to take the wires out of it, you got to just stick like a something small, like a screwdriver, a small little stick of something in there. And 
there's going to be like a button on the top. You just want to push down on that and then push the wire through. Sometimes it can be hard, but once you figure it out, you'll get it. Trust me. I know. Um, yeah. So, it's really simple. Um, wiring really isn't that hard. It's just boring. I learned that when I had to start doing wiring on this. I did not know how to do wiring whatsoever at all. And now I know how to do wiring just because I wired something simple like this in and it's really not hard. Um, so yeah, I got all tons of loose wires that don't go to it anymore, but yep. So basically recap, just one goes to the starter, the stud on the starter. You can see right here, there's a stud and then you secure it with a nut and then this is your ground. You can you don't have to do it on the on the be, behind the bracket of the starter. I just did it because it was the most cleanest metal spot. Um, you can find a nice clean metal spot like to the frame. You can do it there just as long as it's to metal. It can't be to plastic. Can't be to whatever. You know, it's just got and it can't be dirty metal. This has got to be clean, nice metal. So yeah, it's 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 really simple. Um, so yeah, so you're gonna have your one wire that goes to the key switch, which it goes into one of these holes here in the back, um, and then this is what plugs into your key switch, which you can see I got going right there. You can see it. So yeah. It's really simple. I hope this video helped you out with your wiring. And if you need help with anything else, leave it in the comments below. Give me some ideas. Um, I pray that your projects go well and that you'll be able to get through them. I thank you for watching. And if you were blessed by this video, please like, subscribe, maybe even leave a comment if you feel like it. Thank you. Bye.